Okay, champ. Ready for this? So, if I can get you to stand right here, and I'm going to face you. So you'll, you'll actually stand right there facing me. So today we're going to learn our overhead press. You're going to love it. So I'll demonstrate. I'll walk you through it real quick, and then I'll show you how to do it. So what we want to do is have vertical forearms, so our wrists stack right over our elbows. So nice straight wrists. We want to take our big deep breath, hold it into our abs, slight lean back, keeping those legs locked, pushing it to the ceiling, and as the bar goes past our uh, eyes, we just move right back under the bar and stretch our arms to the ceiling. It's just that easy. All right, let's go for it. So you want to start here, yeah. You want elbows in front of the bar, Good, loving these straight wrists right here. Your legs are locked. Take a big deep breath, and then you'll sort of lean back just a little bit and press it all the way to the ceiling. Good, and then I'm gonna have my hand right here. So you wanna really stretch those shoulder blades back. Look straight if you will, get your gaze straight right there. And stretch to the ceiling, just like that. You feel that stretch? Mm -hmm. Loving how those legs remaining locked, lo loving how you're on the uh, midfoot of your, uh, on your midfoot. And then you just bring it back down to your starting position, just exactly like that. So your elbows, I love your elbows being in front. They may be a little too far in front, a little too, and, and a little too wide. So about right here is gonna be perfect. So if we want the bar to go straight up and down, you have to lean back. <laughs> You already, you already got this. You already got this. Uh, so let's go to our our barbell here. So when we unrack the bar, we want to be very aggressive and taking both feet under the bar, boom, and standing up just as strong as you stand up for your squat, okay. and you'll take a step back. And let me show you how we grip the bar next. So approach the bar. Go ahead and come up to the bar. Come over here. Keep your arms like Frankenstein. See right here where the smooth meets the neural? Mm -hmm. You want this finger to be right where the smooth hits the neural, about a half finger in uh, with the smooth. So right here, let me bring you in about a quarter of an inch. So you see, looks like you're about one finger uh, width in front of the neural. I've got this set too high, so I'm gonna to need to bring this down, but that's okay. So now open your hands like this, please, and hook your thumb underneath, and then you'll actually turn your thumbs under, which you already have, and turn your hands like this, flaring those elbows. You feel how the bar's right here on the heel of your hand? Yeah. That's the way you want it every time. Be careful when you're grabbing the bar you don't grab it and start to turn those wrists, uh, start to turn those wrists too far up or too far back. So that looks great right there. We're still a little wide. So let's put your middle finger on the neural to the smooth. That's still a little wide. Let's put a ring finger because we want that, we want this knuckle to be right here, just sort of outside that AC joint, on it or on the side right there. All right, so then we'll take a big, big deep breath, scoop under the bar powerful light, boom, bring it back down here and hold here. So we wanna bring those elbows in front of the bar, just like that, just where it's hitting the chin. I'm loving how those legs are locked. We'll take a big breath, we'll lean back, fire it up to the ceiling. Go ahead, Jen. And you'll stay just like that, driving this all the way to the ceiling. You'll take a big breath and you'll pull the bar down to a starting position. Boom, you did a great job leaning back as, as it's coming down. We'll get to where how that's going to help. Keep your legs locked the entire time, okay? Put your knuckles straight here. All right, big breath, lean back and press to the ceiling. Boom, just like that. Pull those arms just a little further back. Good, loving that gaze and bring it down. So let's just do two more sets there. Wrist straight. Okay, way to really shrug. That looks good. 
bringing it down. And I'll tell you when to press. All right, so let's straighten those wrists. Bring your elbows further in front than you think. Yeah, that's it. This time you're focusing on one thing, keeping your legs straight on the way up and on the way down. Straighten your wrists a little bit more. Boom, just like that. All right, champ, let's do it. Oh, that's the one. Good job. And bringing it back down, legs straight. Good. That's okay, I'll do the same thing with mine. Straight wrist to where you want your knuckles to be pointed up, exactly like this. Elbows about another inch and forward. Remember, they're gonna go more forward than you think they should. All right, champ, one more rep here. Boom! Good breath, and bringing it back down to your start. That looks great, rack it up. Good job, good job. So I'm gonna bring this down one inch. So, there's a little shortcut that we can do. And what we call it is a rebound at the bottom. So, instead of having to reset every time at the bottom, as we bring the bar down to our starting position, we can fire that thing right back up. Okay. So, again, it's here, elbows in front, straight wrist, big chest up, core tight, legs locked, fire it, lean back, firing it up, reaching for the ceiling. Then we're gonna take another breath, hold our air, it comes down, we lean back, instead of stopping, boom, right back up. Okay. Then we'll take another breath, elbows in front, lean back, boom. Okay. Let's do another step, breath at the top. Breath at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good right there. It looks like right up, just like you have, right outside of the midfinger. So straight wrist, and I'll tell you when to press. Good. All right, champ. Press all the way to the ceiling. Oh. Yep, straight legs. Good. And now you're just going right back down for a rebound. Great job. Great job. Elbows in front, the whole way down. Throw those elbows in front. That's the one. Two more, champ. That's the one. Good elbows. Even better. Good job. Go ahead and bring it back down to your rack position. Let's throw that thing in the rack and put a little weight on it. So you did a fantastic job keeping your elbows in front of, after, after the first couple. Elbows were in front of the bar. You had no problems keeping your legs locked. You were doing a good job pushing it back behind you, up to your position stacked onto the shoulders. Okay. Keep doing it that good. Yeah. All right, let's put a little weight on here. Grab this, the top weight with the five pounder. And let me go get some clips. Do you have any questions about this? No. No? No, you've explained it so well. Okay. It is? The elbows are way more. In front They're way more in front. Yeah. So we're th we're focusing on two things this time. Okay. One is going to be elbows in front, wrist straight, so a vertical forearm, mm -hmm. and then continue to keeping those legs locked out. Okay. All right, Jim. Here we go. That's the one. A little bit more lean back. Push it behind it. There you go. Good, big air at the top and hold it. Good elbows. Find your midfoot. Great job, easy way. And we'll rock the bar. Dude, where'd that come from? That was great, that was great for him. That was great for him. I saw a lot of intention on keeping the elbows in front. Uh, I saw you working with your wrist to keep it straight. Yeah. I saw the taking that big air at the top. Yeah. One thing to remember is when you have your air, at, when you're, uh, you wanna hold your air when you inhale at the top. So it's okay. real quick exhale, inhale. Okay, how do I keep my wrist from Way down. Sure. So if they you, want to. Yeah. Mine do too. <laughs> Mine do too, especially when your elbow is so far forward. Yeah. So there's two cues that we have. One is you want your knuckles pointed, yeah, pointed to the ceiling. 
Now, there is going to be like a 10 degree extension. There's nothing you can do about that. But if you feel the bar right here in the heel of your hand, okay. chances are wrists are going to be straight. So okay. you're, you're like doing stop good, on top. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Don't uh, don't overthink it too much. Well, let's let's take this off, and we're going to use one of our smaller 10 pound plates okay. just so the camera can see how well you're doing. Yes, so these, these, these look a lot lighter, don't they? <laughs> so, if you will, show me your top position one more time, even without the bar. Even okay. without the bar. Yeah, good. And hold that position. See, loving these wrists straight. Really stretch up through the ceiling like that. Show me that big inhale. And go ahead and go down to your rebound and press. Boom, and right back up. Okay? So, you're leaning slightly forward on your toes. Okay. You want to think about pulling these arms back a little bit. That's going to help balance you a little bit. As the bar is coming down, you'll have to lean back a little bit more to find that midfoot. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. Thinking about straight wrist, elbows more, elbows in front, elbows in front. That's how far we want it. And pushing it right behind you, big shrug. Good job of catching yourself. Straight legs. Breath. That's the one. Elbows more in front, all the way down. Good. Keeping that big air. Remember your rebound at the bottom. Okay, great, great. Rack it up. So those 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 ten pounders get a little heavy, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Thanks. That was really good. So we, we, a lot of good things. I saw a lot of intention on those wrists. The I entire think that, time. that was the whole thing I was focused on. Sure, sure, and, and and you did great on that. When I cued you to push the bar back behind you to get the good shrug. Yeah. You did that really really well. So we're going to take a couple of minutes here. We'll do two more sets of five here. How does, how does that weight feel? Heavy. But I think I can do it. Think you can do it? I think I can do at least one more set with it. Okay. If it's heavy. If, gotcha. If we need to bring the weight down, mm -hmm. we can do that also. Uh, so if there were two things I would have you do for this next for this next time, because you you're getting your elbows in front and your wrist straight. You're nailing that. Okay. So if there were two things I would have you do, one would be keep those legs locked the entire time. Mm -hmm. And as the bar is coming down, keep that lean back here. Okay. And wait till it fires up by your eyes and then get that big shrug where you're reaching all the way to the ceiling yeah. and a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. So to review, you're doing a great job all around. You're doing a great job with your wrist straight, keeping those elbows in front. Okay. The two things we're focused on uh, this time is gonna be nice tight legs, and then a lean back on the way up and down. Okay. Okay? Ready for another set? I'm ready. Quite ready. Okay, hold on. Rack it back up. <laughs> so remember how to get your grip right. So turn that thumb in. There you go. You feel the bar on the heel of your hand? Yeah, that's so good. Mm -hmm. okay. That's going to help your wrist stay in that neutral position the whole time. Okay. All right. Big air when you unwrap. Good. Elbows need to be three more inches in front. Elbows one more inch in front. One more inch in front and keep them there. Lean back, leg straight. Good. Press. So leg straight. Good. Feet on the floor as you press. Lean back. Fire! That was the best one you've done. Leg straight, fire! Good. Elbows in front, even on the way down. Way to get that balance again. Go down a little slower. Elbows in front the whole time. Way to keep those legs straight. Good job. Good job. Awesome.
You did great. You did great. So with your blessing, let's wait a couple minutes. Okay. Maybe even three minutes. Three whole minutes. Three whole minutes. Okay. And you'll find that your muscles have recovered enough to do one more set. So what questions you have, or, or let me back up. Uh, I saw a lot of great things there. One is a lot of intention, keeping those legs straight mm -hmm. the entire time. Okay. A lot of intention, bring, leaning back, bringing that chest back a little bit and looking forward. Pushing it straight up and a little bit behind you. Mm -hmm. I saw you really trying to do that. So, I mean, you're nailing everything. Okay. If there were two things I would have you do, one would be, after you're here, reaching for the ceiling, as soon as you break at the elbows to bring it down, try to point that elbow forward. Right, right. And then it stays forward, stays forward, you lean back, stays forward, stays forward, stays forward, and then from here, it's just an easy throwing it up to the ceiling. Okay. One reason you may be going on your toes mm -hmm. is staying in that lean back position too long okay once the bar passes your eyes you want to think shrug hard to the ceiling okay. now don't overdo throwing your head forward right uh because this may happen sure. <laughs> so um just allow your head to come back to neutral and you will get a little snappy okay so as soon as that bar passes your eyes so i may use the cue snap or snap forward mm -hmm. and that means as the as the bar is passing your eyes boom we're snapping forward okay so with the main cues that we'll work on is going to be feet flat yeah legs straight i'm rocking my chair too rocking a little bit but you're finding your midfoot throughout mm -hmm. and that's what's really great is you're 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 sensing where your balance may be shifting forward and back and you're coming back to where it needs to be okay that's I mean that, that that's that that's where the money is. Mm -hmm. I mean that's really really great. Um, I'm not paying as much attention to my wrists. They they were straight they most were okay. most of the time. Okay. Most of the time. Okay. Yeah. So the two things we're thinking about: elbows in front, all the way down, mm -hmm. and on the way back up. Mm -hmm. Legs straight. Our secondary cue is going to be snapping the head forward. Okay. But all we care about. Elbows in front, okay. legs and feet straight. Okay. Let's give it 30 more seconds. Okay. 30 more seconds. So as we're as we're hanging out here, show me a couple of reps without the bar and go sort of in slow motion. Just to see if you got the mechanics and the other. See that looks great right there. Show me where your wrist would be. Yeah. There you go. Yep. The heel of your hand is pointing right to the seam. That looks real good. Yep. Bring big chest up. Take a big breath. Shoulders back. There you go. And notice how your head just sort of snaps forward. And don't misunderstand me when I say snap forward. You don't want to sort of turtle your no. head. You just want to allow your head to come back in neutral. Good. Get my hands on the way up. That's how far, that's how far you want to bring it back. Okay. And then, there you go. Good job breaking those up. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. Do one more where your feet stay flat. Yeah. So, the bar is going to hit your chin and <laughs> cut your head in half if you don't lean back. Let's see how... Let me show you how far to lean back. So bring your hips forward, bring this back, there you go. Shift off your toes slightly. Keep bringing that chest back, chest up, there you go. And this is the position that you want to be in as the bar is in front of your face, up and down. Okay. There you go, there you go. Let's do one more, hit my hands. Hello, that's as far back as we want to be. Okay. All right, Jim. One more again. Got it. Good elbows. 
Nice feet flat. Good lean back, hips forward, chest back. Keep your elbows in front. Keep your knees right. There you go. Lean back, elbows in front. Good elbows. You're gonna have to shift back a little bit. Oh, Jesus, that's great. Good. Elbows in front, find your midfoot on the way down. That is the best one you've done. Great balance. Just that easy. Yay. That was great. Yay. And we're done. Awesome. What questions do you have about anything? Um, I think it's just me. You want to do one more set? Sure. Let's do one more set. Done. Done. I still don't feel as comfortable with Not that. seeing how far back I'm leaning. You're ready about two minutes. Yeah, I don't feel as comfortable with how far back I'm leaning. So. Okay, sure. So we'll give it a couple minutes yeah. here. One trick that you can have as far as how far to, to lean back is thinking about pulling your shoulder blades all the way back and allowing that chest to rise. Because okay. this just feels, I feel like I have more pushing power if my elbows are not as far in front of me. Sure, sure. And I wonder if it's because of my like that position isn't as secure. And you're 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 absolutely right. You're absolutely okay. right. The more so don't I I don't want you to exaggerate the lean back, mm -hmm. but let's try to lean back a little more than you think you should at okay. this time. And let actually let's practice what that lean back looks like. Don't worry about pressing it up at all. Okay. Good. So now that's that's right. And notice that you're on your midfoot. You yeah. may be a little shifted to the balls of your feet. I am a little. Don't but more worry about that. than anything, I just feel a lot of pressure in my lower back. Okay, sure. So let's work, feeling pressure in your lower back. Let's work that for a second. So what I want you to do is stand up straight and, and just, just relax, just relax. So pretend that you're going and, and you're doing like a standing sit up there. So keep this tight the whole time. Now bring that chest up, big chest up. Don't allow this angle to expand. Take a big breath in your chest Hold here, now lean back like that. Does that take pressure off your lower back at all? It does. And that's the big chest up okay. core brace that, that we're looking for. Okay, I don't uh, think I'm using my lower back. You're, 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 doing, you're, doing, you're using your core, you're doing a really, really good job. Okay. Our, our focus uh, for this next set is gonna be legs straight, feet flat, continuing to bring elbows in front all the way up and down, okay. and our lean back. That's all you. Oh, rack it up. <laughs> Let's see that good hand placement. There you go. So remember, you want to feel it here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. And you don't have to. You don't have to feel like you're wrapping your fingers all the way around. Okay. You can More sort of. Secure. You got it. You can sort of compress your fingertips. Just exactly like that. Elbows two inches further, and all you care about is that lean back. Big brace. Good. Elbows in front. Good. Find that midfoot at the top. Best one you've done. Good job. That really looks good. Straight up and down on this last one. Oh, that's good. That felt better. That felt a lot. That was great. That was great. Yeah. That was the easiest set yet. That was the easiest okay. set yet. And the closer you, the, the straighter the bar path, the less it gets out in front of you, mm -hmm. the easier it is. Proud of you, man. Good Thank job today. Thank yep. you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>